What's up, tubers? Teal here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you tonight for another special episode. I figured, what the heck, since we're already doing the Friday night episode for Lake Arrowhead, which we did last night, let's go ahead and just make a weekend of it and knock the whole entire lake out. So tonight, we're going to go through the second Google Earth video for Lake Arrowhead, and then tomorrow night, we'll go over the offshore hotspots and wrap up the lake. So let's see what else we have left tonight, and then we'll move on. Let's go. Let's go ahead and jump back into Google Earth here and start off really just talking about on the left side how we have this lake categorized. Now, if you already watched the first video for Arrowhead, you know this, so I apologize for the repeat, but always like to kind of walk this through, walk through this with you and kind of show everything to you. So over here on the left hand side, we have it broke down by ramps and slabs. So these are going to be all the different boat ramps that you have out there. Uh, all the different slabs that we were able to find, just personal stuff. That's a great pattern to run at certain times of the year. And you have a, you know, a handful of them uh, to run on this lake for sure. You've also got roads, bridges, and culverts. There's quite a few underwater roads here. It looks like most of them might be washed out. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but we went ahead and marked them for you. So hopefully some of them will produce for you. The culverts definitely should still be there, but as far as the remnants of the roads, it looks like when the when the lake was drawn down that most of that stuff is washed away now, but I could be wrong. We've also got some really cool stuff. We talked about this in the last video, but some really, really cool house foundations. We talked about this area right in here last time that just looks absolutely bunny. Then we've got lots of offshore stuff. We're gonna talk about those offshore hotspots. As we uh, move over and we go to the next video where we get onto the Navionics mobile app, and when we get on there, we're actually going to look at this from a contour perspective. But because this lake, I can draw it down so much using Google Earth because the water was so low back in 2013, 2015 kind of time frame, I'm going to go ahead and leave the offshore stuff on when we're breaking it down because there's actually some of these offshore spots you can physically see, and I've never had that happen on one of my lakes. We've also got ponds and different kinds of paths. Most of it is just ponds. It's all these different orange things that you see. These are all kinds of different ponds. And ponds are really good to fish in the summertime. If you fish those pond dams, they can be really, really good. I know on Lake Fork, where that's a lake that I fish frequently, I love fishing the pond dams on Lake Fork in the summertime. That's like my go-to thing. So we've also got uh, Texas Park and Wildlife brush piles, which we already talked about that on the last video. They were all up here, all around this state park that's up here, and there is a ton of them. Then we're going to pull back. We're going to talk about um, different types of areas of rock that we found. Now, the rock was cool because when we pulled this down, we're, we're picking out rock that's like out in the middle of the water. So pretty cool stuff there. We've also got channels. I've marked the channels back here. And then these two little icons here are just extra things that we found when we were breaking it down last time. So I'll go ahead and add those in. So let's go ahead and move this over. I'm going to put all of this up here. And I'm going to move this over here to the left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this down to 2015, 2013, somewhere in that area. We're in 2015 right now. I'm going to draw it back to 2013. And now I can got a really good image of what's going on. You can see the lake is, is way drawn down. So last time when we finished, we finished actually right up here. We came up this little roadbed. I talked to you about this roadbed and this creek channel, this little culvert that's over here, but really this creek channel, I mean, this creek channel looks awesome. You need to go back there and position yourself in the creek channel and work these bends. You know, anytime you see these big bends, like this is a nice bend right here, right here where they're connecting together. Those are always really good spots. You know, over in here, you got another bend. Just focusing on see how they're holding up. I mean, right in here, this looks like you got some really good turns going on right in here as well. And again, if I pull this up to 2022, of course it's muddy, but 2021, we'll take that back a little bit. You wouldn't even have any idea that you were in the middle of the creek channel out here. So just definitely, this is going to really help you guys out and hopefully put you guys on some fish. So let's draw it back again. We're going to go back to 2013. We're going to come around this point. Now, when we get around this point, this is the stuff that I'm talking about where it says there's a road here, and you can see the remnants of a road like right through here, but I don't know if there's anything there. You know, a lot of times you see these roads and it's like a hard spot. There's just nothing there. The culverts are there, 
And what we do basically is we mark these roads and bridges and culverts based on what we find on the Navionics side, and then we just bring it over. So the Navionics is saying, yes, there's a road there, and they're right. There is a road there, but there's just not much left there. It also says that there's a bridge right here, and there is no bridge here, but I bet if I delete this, there's going to be something weird looking there. But there, yeah, there's no bridge there at all. So anyways, when you see those, just be wary that sometimes... Um, you know, when we go out here and we actually bring them down the breakdown, we realize that whatever was there has been completely washed away, um, but it's still showing up on that Navionics stuff. So let's go ahead and move over here. We got the roads and the culverts. I would say just come out here and scan around and just see what you can find as far as cover and stuff. I mean, the cool thing about this right here is this is the entrance to that creek channel, right? This is where it kind of all starts to tighten up a little bit. So this is where you get a lot of the outflow and stuff like that. They love to hang around the entrances of this area. So also over here, and I'm sure we'll talk about it, where I put offshore, you know that's gonna be a good spot too, because it's right there by all that nice, fresh, you know, oxygenated water. Then if we zoom in too, you're gonna see got all kinds of stumps and cover for them to hang around. That's probably a flock of birds, but, just some good stuff going on right in there. Now we'll talk about those. We'll bring it up on the contour map and we'll talk about those as well. But let's keep moving down. We'll go down here. It looks like an old roadbed uh, could possibly be down through here, but again, I'm not seeing one. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. Looks like there's no road there anymore. We've also got some good offshore spots. We'll talk about that once we get over there. I don't think there's anything else yet. I didn't think there was anything else down this bank line until we get down here. You got a really good looking pond. So good looking pond, little little break right there off the backside. That looks good. And on the top of it, it actually looks like it may have some rock, a little bit of rock right there out in the middle of it. So that could be a really good pond dam to fish around. Again, pull that water up to, you know, 2020. And now that pond looks like it's out in the middle of the lake as you know, when we were looking at it just a minute ago, it felt like we were up on shore. So just don't be throwing off if you're just watching the video and not purchasing the cards from Simplistic Fishing. Um, totally get it. But if you're just watching the video, just be aware that what we're seeing as we're going through this breakdown is going to be very deceiving when you get out there on the water. All right. So let's pull this back to 2013 again. Let's go down here and let's just talk about around this bridge. Now, I didn't mark this stuff, but... Um, probably should have, but I don't typically, you know, typically I'll just put like riprap um, that's around here. But this one looks even more interesting because you've got the riprap that's right here, but you also have an old roadbed that's going right through here as well. So I'd fish the back side of this thing first. I think this is going to be your more higher percentage stuff. Could be wrong. I mean, obviously you want to fish all the way all around it, but right in here, right in here, that could be a, a good spot to look at. Then we're going to go back here. There's one little offshore spot we'll talk about back there. I think it's just a creek channel swing or a creek channel bend where that creek channel's coming through there. We also have a boat ramp that's back here. And then if you look way back here, we got some really good creek channels that are going on. Again, you know, just following the creek channel and working the creek channels. It's like working just a big giant flat back here and you're just paying attention to where the creek channel is. And anytime you get around the bends, you slow down and you just work them a little bit tougher. And if there's anything that, that comes up and touches that creek channel, like the backside of this island right here, that is, for whatever reason, always going to be a good spot as well. If it touches, goes up against something, something they can maybe swing up against, that's definitely going to be a good spot. You've also got a little hump that's out here too, out in the middle of that, that flap that's back there. But that looks pretty interesting to go back in. I don't know how deep that gets, but this is 2015. It looks like it's deep enough. Um, but you can see here that creek channel is completely gone. There's the hump out there. That little island that we saw, I guess that's, that must be it right there. But now it looks like, you know, it looks completely different. But that island comes pretty far out here. So anyway, some good stuff back there. I've got it all marked for you guys so you can see it. Let's go ahead and move up. And let's talk about what else we found up here. So we get past the bridge. We've got some more slabs. Some really good ponds or pond dams, I guess I should say. Look at this one right here. This one's even got some debris coming out the middle of it. It's got all these pipes that go into it too. No idea what's going on there. That just looks strange. Got another pond dam back here. I really like this one better though. This one looks like the best one between the two of them. We move up here, more slabs. You got a, quite a bit of rock going on right around this point. So all this rock that's in here as well. And you've actually got an old uh, house foundation that was actually right here in this area too. So 
just some interesting stuff. You're definitely going to be on a high percentage area if you start right here with that rock where it says rock and you come around here uh, to right here where it says rock, that is definitely going to be a higher percentage area because you're basically fishing on a point with some rock and all kinds of cover and stuff like that. It's going to be a real good point to fish around. Also, as you come over here, you've got rock out here too, where you see this little white line. This is all rock as it comes further out. So if I move this back, 2013, you're going to see here's where all that rock is. So just some really good looking stuff. May even have a uh, may even have a sunken boat out there. That boat doesn't look like it's it's been on land for a while. So you may have a sunken boat there. You can go live scope. It'd be pretty cool to look at. Might be some fish around it. You never knew. We've also got some uh, some more ramps slabs. Another really good pond dam back here. So it might be tough to get to because all this timber and stuff you got to get through. But really healthy looking pond dam. Again, let's look at that one, 2015. That one's pretty far out here. Um, I don't know what the heck that is. Is that their dock? That is a super long dockway. So this must be really shallow up in here. But if that's all the way out there, then basically go to that dock and it's going to be just a little bit outside of that dock where that pond's at. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back. Man, that is a long, long walkway. Um, let's go back here. We've got some more slabs. More rock up in here, but again, remember those docks are coming way far out, so this must be pretty dang shallow up in here. Uh, but anyways, just going to go ahead and mark it for you and let you know what's on the lake. You can pick what you want to fish. We've also got rocks over here off this little point. That looks pretty healthy. This point looks interesting. Um, I didn't mark it because I don't see any really good rock or anything, but something's going on with this point just because it's a different color. So... I would say go ahead and at least check it out. It's a it's a main lake point. You got to check it out. Got a couple culverts out here. Might be worthy of just going and scanning over to see if there's anything still there. And as we get off these things, this is interesting because you'll hit certain points that have this rock. And so what I tried to do is just mark the ones that had the really good rock on them. Obviously, they all kind of have a little bit. Like that one has a little bit of rock. This one has quite a bit of rock, so I marked that one. This one comes out. Quite a bit of rock again, another good rock pile there, another good rocky area right in there. Same thing over here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back and show you guys, and then also this one over here. So we've got quite a bit of few points right in that area. See all this rock that's right here on the outside edge of this thing? Pretty cool looking. So we pull this back. We've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven different areas um, that have that kind of rocky stuff to it this one didn't have the rock on it but it's got that white kind of hard look to it like it could be a hard bottom so some really good main lake points there pull it up 2015 and now that rock is pretty far off so those are going to be almost be offshore type spots uh, but really good areas to go look at for sure so let's go back let's go up here got some more maybe have an old railroad out here possibly that kind of comes through here you can kind of see it connecting you've got a couple culverts Got an offshore spot there we'll talk about down in here. Looks like it used to be an old road. Maybe this road came down and came this way. Um, doesn't look like much anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those while we're here. And if you've already bought the card and you want these updated points, just let me know, I'll email them over to you so you have them. Because uh, sometimes when we go through these videos, we realize that there's stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here. And a lot of times it's due to that, uh, that maybe onyx stuff. So let's go ahead and keep moving up. And let's see what else we get in here. We got a little bit of rock, a little bit of more rock in here. You can tell when it gets rocky because it gets white. Um, and so that means you may have these transitions that are further out here. So this could be like a rocky area. And this is where that dirt area starts. And that line can actually go all the way out here. Like if you follow my hand, it can go way out here. And fishing that transition can be really good as well. And it's definitely something different. It takes a little while to get used to. But if you line yourself up with the bank, that's kind of the best way to do it. And then obviously with live scope and everything else we have now, it's pretty easy to find that line. And you're just going to fish right around that transition line. Um, and you should have some pretty good success. It's definitely worked for me in the past. All right. So let's keep moving up here. Got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good offshore stuff we'll talk about when we get on the Navionics. But let's stick here closer to the shoreline. Here are those rocky spots. We've also got a nice, good, hard point right here with some rock that's out here. As we move out here, you know, again, you're getting pretty far off the bank. This is the bank line here. We're way out here. Um, but when you get out here, you start getting into these little rock piles. And right here, this could almost looks like it's an old roadbed, possibly. But 
definitely good, good stuff right in here. Right in here, another isolated rock pile. Some more right in there. Some more rock that's over here. So that might be, yeah, because it says a road. I bet that was an old road that came right through here. So really do some heavy scanning from that road to that rock. And that's going to be where a lot of your harder stuff is going to be. Some more rock in here. Here's an old road bed. You can see the old road bed going through there. I don't see much rock on it. There's actually another old road bed coming through here too. That might be where they intersect. You've also got some rock over here. Pretty good points there. Another rocky area there. Some more rock up in there. There's actually a foundation there that we missed. It's right here. There's an old road there. You can't see the old road, but you can see the foundation. So I'm going to delete the road, and I'm going to add the foundation. Make a little house. If I can find my house, we'll make it a red house. So now we got a red house. That'll be a foundation. I'll go and add that in. Let's keep moving on and see what else we can find. A little bit of debris there, but I don't know if that's worthy of marking because it could just be the waves splashing up and making that white color. There is a little old road bed that comes through here. You can see where the road used to be. It looks like it ran straight through here. Oh, it was. It was right where that other road sign was, but it's just not much of a road. Like if I zoom in here, you can see there's just not much there left that's left. But right here by this road, you do have a little bit of rock going on right in there. So definitely look at that. You got another road bed that's up here too. You can kind of see it going through the trees. You know, if you can get right in here, in this area right in here when the water comes up we'll pull the water up and see if it goes up this high uh, but if you can get right in here that can be a nice little pinch area right there in that little section let's go ahead and move that up to 2015 and see yeah you can't you can get kind of get close but you can't get through there so the road bed runs right through the edge of that so uh, let's keep going on let's talk about this other rock that's out here so you got a lot more rock here you got more rock going on up in here as well more rock across that point. I mean, there's just some good stuff on this part of the lake. Now that we've gotten in here, now we're seeing some good rocky stuff. Get back in here, there's just not much going on back in here. But when you come out, you do have a good pond dam that's here. You got some good rock that's over here off of this point. And we pull back, we got another pond dam that's up here. This pond doesn't look as good, but it's a pond dam. So I went ahead and marked it for you. Not sure if I'd waste too much time on that one. Then we've got this road bed that comes down through here too um, that you can check out. But again, these road beds, they're not looking too good uh, from a Google Earth side. They look good, obviously, on Navionics. It says there's a road bed there, but they don't look that good when we pull them up. But when we get out here, there's a house foundation that's out here. Can't see this one, but it is marked on uh, the Navionics side. So we went ahead and put it there for you guys. And then obviously, you got some house foundations stuck in all this big old flap. There's foundations out here old road beds going through here but look at look at how there's just not much left of them you can barely see them they're there but uh they're hard to find you've also got a pretty good foundation that's out here check this one out yummy now that one's gonna have some pretty good depth because the water's already drawn down quite a bit and the other ones that we saw on the west side of the lake uh, they were pretty obvious but these out here are going to be have really good depths. So you've got a few of them that are out here that we've marked for you guys. There's an old roadbed close to that one too. Offshore spot we'll talk about. These railroads and these bridges we'll talk about again on the offshore stuff. Right in here, get out here, you got a little area here where you've got some rocks. So again, just kind of marked it with that line. If we pull it up to 2015, you can see that that rock is totally gone. You pull up that shoreline, think it was all like that, not knowing that all that shallow rock was right there in front of you. Then let's move up here. I'm going to pull this back. We're going to talk about these little areas. Got some rock in here, rock in there, rock coming off that point. This one looks interesting because it's like its own little isolated rock pile. Again, you know, pulling it up 2015, you might see the, see the cover and stuff growing around there, but that is a nice little rock pile that that stuff's growing around. You've also got another one of those right over here. And then this whole point is just a really hard point with lots of scattered rock, you know, good Carolina rigging area, crank baiting, shaky heads, all that good stuff. Of course, you see the offshore spot there too, because you can see where that breaks coming off that point. That's going to be a good, really good point to fish. I mean, if I pull back here and show you where we're at, main lake going to be a really good point for sure. So let's keep going down here. We've also got more rock. 
And then some more rocky areas right in here too. Most of these are marked with those paths to make it really easy for you guys to tell where those rocky areas are. Got some offshore stuff, some more just, just isolated rocky areas. And you're going to continue to see that everywhere we go, just all this isolated rock. I really like this, this spot right in here. Seems seems more isolated than others. And you may even want to check out this little hump that's out here, see if there's anything going on around that hump. So you can see right here, I'm back behind the island now. We're going to go back here by this bridge, just check out what's going on back here. But here again, really good little rocky area. Check this guy's got his truck totally buried in the mud. Funny if it got stuck there forever for being an idiot and driving it back there. And then coming back here, you've got roads, culverts. You've got an old pond dam that's back here that looks pretty healthy. I, I would do some investigating back in here. This one looks good. Old road beds, ramps. And then if you look off the edge of this point, you've got some pretty healthy rock right in here. Just a really good hard spot. So sandy all around, and then you got this hard spot that's right here. Then of course, you know, fishing around the riprap can always be good to you. Got another offshore hot spot, another house foundation that's way out there you could check out. And then getting in here, we're getting into a lot of ramps and old road beds and stuff like that. But here's the ramps. It says there's an old railroad there. There's not an old railroad there. There is something going on there, though. I don't know what it is. But what I would say to be careful with back here, one, it looks extremely shallow. But see this little rocky point that comes out? I'd fish right around in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a marker right here. And we'll, uh, we'll add it in. Uh, again, for those of you that have, have already purchased this thing, but I don't even know what icon I'm supposed to be using here, but I'll clean this up when we get done with the video, but we're just going to put a rock right there because that could be a nice little crankbait, little square bill type action, you know, where you can get have some luck there. Now let's keep moving over because it gets a little bit juicier up here with all this rock, but really good rock in here. Um, not sure why they think there's a railroad there because I do not see any remnants of a railroad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. It's the worst one. I haven't seen one this bad yet. We also go over here by the slabs. We go over here to the rock. That's a pretty good rock there. And then when we get over here, we get around this point. Really good rocky area. And this might actually have some decent depth too, as, as a compared to all these. You know, this area up in here is really stinking shallow. You can tell how shallow it is. You've also got some more rock up in here, some old road beds and things like that as well. And then we're going to pull back up, kind of show you where we are. I think we can go ahead and get this done. Might be a little bit of a longer video, but let's go ahead and just rock and roll and knock this one out. So let's keep moving up here. Now, you want to check out these points. I didn't mark every one of them, but some of these areas, when you get out in here, you can start to see the rock. And I've marked some of this for you. Like, this is a really good point here where it has some really good hard area right in here. So come up here, offshore spot, just being a little point there. But really, that's... You know if I would call that offshore, but definitely fishing right in here around this this pillar or whatever this thing is that's right here. If you can fish around it, definitely fish around it. You've also got a, a ramp here, some more of those rock areas that we talked about. As we move up in here, just an old culvert back there. You've got some more rocks up here too. This area looks interesting because there's nothing in the area that has any type of hard surface except for right here. And I don't know if you can fish around these power poles. I'm sure you can, but I, I check them out every once in a while and just see if anything's hanging around, but you never know. You've also got some more rock that's up here. And if you look at these two spots we just picked out, we got this rocky spot and that rocky spot, and the rest of it, there's just no rock. So there's got to be some fish just hanging around in those areas. There's some more of it up here too. But this is getting pretty shallow when we get up in here. Uh, but those other ones are, they should have some decent depth to them at least. Uh, some more offshore stuff we'll talk about. Some more rock over here. This one looks good. It's probably one of the best ones in this whole area right here and where that little bitty boat is down there too. But this one looks like the best one. And again, if we want to pull this back and take a look at these, I'll, I'll do it here in a second. Once we get done with these house foundations, we'll pull it up and look at it with the water all the way up. But here are some more house foundations. You can see it right here. Kind of see the remnants of it. That one's not as good as the other ones, but lots of debris around that thing for sure. You even got some more debris that's up here on top of this point. That could be, that could even be old tires possibly. It's hard to tell with this imaging, but there's definitely some junk going on all on the top of this point right here. Check out, look at that one. And that's really good foundation. You got another foundation that's up here. 
So if we pull this back, we talked about all that stuff that we saw. If we go back to 2015, that whole rocky area that I was showing you, again, is, is totally hidden. You wouldn't have any idea that that stuff was there. So I think this stuff is really going to help you guys out and breaking down the lake and, you know, really being able to find the good stuff. So let's keep moving up here. We're going to talk about these. Those are the offshore stuff. We'll talk about those later. We've got some more of that rocky stuff, uh, just, you know, random rocky hard spots coming way off of points. You know that's going to be good because, again, that's another main laker. We're getting up here close to the dam. Come over here with just a lot of slabs, a lot of slabs to work around and just one little area where it's got a little bit of rock. Nothing too crazy going through here that I saw, you know, that would really make me want to go over there. Now, there is this pond that's back here, though, so I may do some investigating back in here, but it's looking like it's getting pretty dang shallow when you get back up in there. And some shallow rock in here, too, I guess you could check out, but I didn't, again, not, not put a mark there. I just don't feel that confident with this whole area. We've also got some offshore stuff we'll talk about. And then when you get up here by the dam, just follow that little white line, but that's all Rocky Bank line. And that's going to be good. And we got some offshore stuff here too. But if I move that up to 2015, here's what it would look like if you were to go out there today. So you need to stay a little bit off the bank, right? Don't get so close to the bank. You got to get back off and pretend that that white line or that track is going to be your bank line and fish that as your bank line, as opposed to fishing inside of that. You're actually probably setting your boat right on top of where you actually need to be fishing. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I've got all these waypoints out on our site, simplisticfishing.com. We're going to come back on our next video, pull it up on Navionics mobile, mobile boating app, and I'm going to show you guys all those different road beds, the, the offshore hotspots, why we picked the offshore hotspots, all that good stuff. So we'll come back for that. But go out to the site, check out all the waypoints out there. We've got over 117 lakes out there now, simplisticfishing.com. And please don't forget to go check out our sponsor, Omnia Fishing. I've got the link in the description. Until next time, guys, I hope you catch your PB. Take it easy.